adorable guac and chips? If so, you are going to need something to draw on, something to draw with, something to erase any mistakes that you might make, and a marker to outline your doodle. And once you have all of those supplies, you're going to need the crayons, the markers, or the colored pencils or paint to add color to your adorable doodle. So grab all of those supplies and let's get started. grab your paper and we are going to turn it horizontal so it is shorter this way but wider this way and we are going to draw a little bowl of guac with a chip so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here in the bottom area of my paper and I'm going to draw kind of a wiggly line so instead of being perfectly straight I kind of want a little bump to it and then I'm going to come up and I want to make a triangle and I bet you cannot guess what the triangle is in a thing of guac. What would that triangle be? That is going to be our little chip. So he is going to be a yummy, delicious little chip. And we're going to go ahead and give him eyes. If you make them big enough, you can add in those white marks. If not, don't worry about it. He doesn't need the little shine marks. He's cute. He doesn't need all that extra. I'm going to add a couple little dots to him for maybe like the grain in his little chip self. Then I'm gonna turn my paper sideways here and I'm gonna curve down around and into my chip. I'm gonna skip around my chip. I'm gonna imagine my line going through my chip and I'm gonna finish it up here. So if I turn my paper back, I want my lines to be pretty even. And then I'm gonna turn it again and I'm gonna make the curve for the open part of the bowl. So I just want a slight curve there. So now I've got like what looks kind of like a, maybe an upside down taco or a moon or a boat. And down here at the bottom, I'm gonna come out with these diagonal lines and I'm gonna curve. And that's just gonna be that little foot that goes at the bottom of the bowl. And the other one would be over here behind Chip. So I don't have to worry about making both. I can just make one and it will kind of give you the idea that there's another one kind of hidden back there. So I'm going to go ahead and put a face on my bowl here. So I'm going to give him the upside down eight for the eyes. I'm going to do another one over here, the upside down number eight. And I'm going to give my bowl maybe an open mouth. And I think I'm going to do a little tongue in there and I'm going to color the rest in black. Yeah, that works. It's cute. All right, next, I'm gonna come in with some guac. So I'm gonna go across the top of my bowl here with kind of some bumpy lines for all of the chunkiness of the guac. And I am not going all the way out to the end of my bowl. I'm in a little bit because the bowl has a little thickness too and you don't wanna go all the way around. So right here where it ends, because it is not touching the guac, I'm gonna do a line it. And that's gonna go back behind the guac. And that helps show that the bowl is a bowl, the guac is in the bowl, the guac is not just sitting on top of the bowl. And then I'm gonna draw on another triangle here, but this one's gonna be upside down. And that's just gonna be a chip. Every time I've gotten guac at a restaurant, they always stick a chip in there. And then I'm gonna give this chip some eyes too. Let's so give him some eyes and a little mouth. His eyes are not gonna have any white shine marks. <laughs> and I wanna add a couple little squares to my guac for the little tomato pieces. There's always like some tomato in the guac, little red dots and whatnot. So I wanna add some of that in there, maybe put another little bump here. All right, look at that. And then I think on my bowl, well, let's see, on this chip, I need a couple little dots for some texture there. I think it's pretty good. When I color, I can make that design. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw in a nice line here. So that way my 
little guac and chip can be on the table. Look at them, they are so cute. All right, so I have my Crayola twistables and I have my Crayola markers here and we are gonna go ahead and color in our adorable little doodles. So grab your supplies and let's color. Look at how cute our little chips and guac turned out. I hope that you had a great time drawing with me today. Happy Cinco de Mayo, and I cannot wait to see you guys again. If you had fun, please like, subscribe, and share the video, and come back again for more. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.